Hi guys, um, so my name is Charlie Hodge and um, I blog over at blog.eucse.com. <clears throat> so head over there, have a look at any of the articles that we've put together. But today what I wanted to run through is a use case that I'm seeing more and more with a number of um, customers that I work with. And essentially that is to enable Windows 10 out of the box enrollments into Workspace ONE using Okta as the a main source of user credentials. So no Active Directory in place here. Um, we're using Okta for everything. So creating users, managing the groups, uh, creating passwords in there, and we're really provisioning the user accounts across to Azure and Workspace ONE all from Okta. So I've put together a diagram of how this works. There's a lot of lines, so hopefully it's not too um, confusing, but essentially if we run through this, we've got Okta here. Okta is being our um, universal directory, if you like, instead of Active Directory. And what this uh, is doing is provisioning users into Azure. It's provisioning users into Workspace ONE Access. Workspace ONE Access is then provisioning the user over to Workspace ONE UEM. And then we've got an Azure MDM application set up within Azure so that when a device is taken out of the box, it's forwarded onto um, workspace one UEM and that in turn is using Okta for authentication. So to show you this working, um, I'm going to try and do this live, no skips, no cuts or um, no speeding up. Um, so if I head over to my Okta portal here and I go and add a person, um, so I'm going to add someone here, let's go for uh, Frodo Baggins. This is going to be F Baggins at ch-productions.co.uk. So I'm gonna set the password here so I can log in. I don't need to um, activate anything via email. And then I'm gonna go and hit save. So what this should then do automatically is you should see, um, first of all, over here, I'm just gonna go and refresh this. Um, what I should see is Frodo Baggins there. Sorry, I couldn't see for some reason then. <laughs> um, if I head over to my Workspace ONE Access Console, so you can see here, I haven't refreshed this yet. I don't have um, Frodo Baggins here. So let's go and refresh this. Um, and what we should now be able to see is Frodo has been created over here. And then um, I've got my Workspace ONE UEM console here. So if I scroll down, you can see there's no, no Frodo listed there. So let's go and refresh this. And what we should then begin to see is Frodo Baggins. There he is. Um, so Okta has basically gone and provisioned all of my users um, across all of my different um, uh, solutions that I need that I need my user in. Um, and the last one to check is if we go and have a look at portal.zero.com. Um, um, and then we just go and flip over, switch directory here to um, my CH Productions one. Uh, let's just double check to make sure that the user has also been created in Azure. So I'm in my Azure portal. Let's go to users. Um, and what I should be able to see is Frodo Baggins uh, has been created there. So a great thing about this is that within Okta, if you go and disable the user or if you go and make changes to the user, then that will then be provisioned out to all of the different solutions that we've got connected in place here. So because I've already done all the back end work, what this then enables me to do is now I should be able to just take a Windows 10 device straight out of the box and enroll it into Workspace ONE. So let's go and test that. So here I have a Windows 10 virtual machine. Let's go and put F baggins at ch-productions.co.uk. Um, and let's go and hit next. So because I've got Azure and Office 365 federated to Okta, I should be prompted with um, an Okta login page. So F Baggins, and then put in the password that I put in, in place there. Let's go and hit sign in. So um, I'm going to remove this user afterwards. So if we go and create an account, um, what I should now be doing is essentially authenticating into Azure and then I'm going to be hitting that MDM application that I mentioned before, and that's going to forward me on to Workspace ONE, which is then going to try and use Access and Okta to authenticate me. But because I've already got a session with Okta open, um, I'm now able to just go and enroll my device directly in there. So um, some of the pre-work uh, does take a little bit of time to 
complete. But what that then enables me to do is have a very nice, very streamlined way of enrolling my devices um, directly into Workspace ONE, having user accounts on the device, which are then obviously managed um, from the Azure side. Um, and so if I just skip through some of these bits here, let me just wait for the, the Windows 10 machine uh, to get to its desktop. <coughs> Um, I'll then be fully enrolled. So if I flip back over here, just whilst we wait for that, and we go and have a look at my console, when I go to devices, um, so I can see I've got 12 devices enrolled. If I go and hit list view here, so you can see here that I've got a device which is enrolling. It's enrolling as um, fbaggins.chproductions.co.uk, and it's just pending the hub. So um, that will be pushed out automatically, and then that device will be able to receive any applications, any settings that I put together in Workspace ONE, um, you know, any scripts I want to push down, um, you know, and, uh, and any restrictions or enablements, essentially. So in this in the blog post um, that you'll see below, essentially, we're going to run through exactly what we need to do here in order to set up the provisioning of a user into Access, how to set that user um, to then be provisioned into Workspace ONE UEM, how to provision the user into Azure, and how we basically glue um, this solution together. Um, so hopefully that's been helpful. Um, leave your comments below um, if you find this useful.